Hello, in this video we're going to talk about creating new pages and menu management. Um, to start off with, I'm not going to really go into too much detail on putting together a page, meaning how we're arranging elements and, and styling and that kind of thing. I'm going to cover the idea that you made a new page and how are we putting it into the menu. So um, there will be other videos um, that deal uh, in more detail on actually working with content on, on a page directly, okay? So I'm logged in, of course, and let's just assume that we're gonna make a new page and we wanna put it uh, into the menu, okay? So first thing we need to find is the page section. And then here you can see the entire list of pages on the site. Um, this is your post page for your blog. You'll see a bunch of drafts, of course, means it's not published. Um, and as well, you'll see the front page is the Caribbean FYI page. Uh, it's not called home. Um, we do that on purpose because it's good for SEO to have the actual name of your business as opposed to it being calling, called home page. Um, so let's assume that we made a new page called About. All right. We made this new page, and now we need to get it into this menu, right? So we made the page, we're going to go ahead and arrange it by coming to Appearance, right under GeoDirectory Appearance and Menus. And then what we see first loaded up is the main menu, which the primary menu is this one. Um, and you can change back and forth through menus by selecting this drop down. We have the footer and then we have the top right menu if that's what you have this theme set up for. But you guys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, don't have that. You just have the main one um, and then the uh, footer menu if you have that. This quick links comes from something else uh, for, through a widget. Okay, so anyways, so let's say we want to add the about page we just made and we're going to put it into the menu. So we can do that by doing the most recent. So if we had just made that page, it'll be up here. If you don't see it, we can do view all. And we just select it, add the menu, and we'll see it's right here um, at the bottom. But we don't want it at the bottom. Let's pretend we want it right after plan. So we'll put that in there, drag and drop it, and then we'll save it. And if I come back and check the site. Don't worry, I'm going to pull this out really fast. Um, we'll see that it's now here. Um, but lo and behold, it's not all caps. So what you can do is open this and we can see it's not all caps and we can just retype it. And then we would hit save again, refresh, and now it's what it's supposed to be, right? Okay, let me get this out of here since it's, whoops, wrong one. Just to do that, all we gotta do is remove, update. Now, um, what you'll notice as well is that these pages are indented underneath. And what that does is signify it's a drop down menu. So, for instance, um, stay, we have accommodations in real estate as a drop down. So when you're adding something, all you have to do is indent it manually. So for instance, I want to put C and do under the Aruba, under the Explore one, excuse me. So I can just grab onto it, move it, and then you'll see that little dotted line around it, the running ants move it. It kind of indicates where it's going to be. This one would be a tertiary menu, and then this one would be in the secondary under that one. So if you wanted to, um, to move it around, you can do that, okay? So let me put this back, save it. If you want to create a new menu, um, earlier in the video I, I mentioned the widget, the Quick Links widget. Um, what you would do is, let's, let's do this, let's do it this way. Let's say we want to make a new menu and we want to add it to a, a new widget that we're putting together, or an, or an existing widget. Um, you can create a new menu by clicking this link here. Just give it your name, whatever, hit create menu, um, and then start pulling over your your pages from over here like we just went over. Okay, I'm not gonna create a new one because we don't we don't want to add unnecessary junk. Once you've done that, we can go to widgets 
And for instance, this one is in the footer. Let me see. Um, I'm not sure where this one was at. Oh, there it is, quick links. So navigation menu, I can open it, and you can see that it's using the footer menu that we looked at earlier. But if I click that, I can see all the menus that are available. So for, if I just made a menu, a new one just now, maybe it's the About Us menu, I would select that, I would create the title that I want, and then I would save it. And then what it's gonna do is populate this menu, this widget, wherever you set that at. Okay, um, to use a navigation menu, it's over here on the left of widgets. And we'll, we'll probably cover this, the widgets thing in a, in a separate video. Um, but for the meantime, this one is from over here. So we have a list, a huge list of all these different widgets. So you would just grab the one you're looking for, text for instance, and you would drag it over um, into one of these boxes that you were, you, you know, you were going to use. Okay, that will do it for this one.